All right, final really interesting geography quiz. As you can see, I've got a map of the world, and if I right click, I can draw weird squiggly lines. Huh? And that's because this is a game mode where you have to try and draw every European country from memory. Now, if I was asked to draw United Kingdom, it'd be quite simple because I kind of just work my way around the British Isles like this, you know, and then blah blah blah. Perfect, fantastic. But if I was asked to draw Luxembourg, I'd have a bit of a nightmare because I don't really know where it would be, somewhere like that. So this should be really interesting. The country that you are given is random. In theory, I should fill in the entire map of Europe. This is going to be really embarrassing. Let's get on with it. Oh my god, are you kidding? The first country it wants me to draw is Andorra. That is such a tricky first one. Right, okay, well, we can get quite detailed on the map, which is nice. So, oh my god, I can't believe that. So, I know roughly where Andorra is. It's like this area, yeah? But it's very small, and I don't know exactly where the shape ends. It's probably around here. I wonder if you could see an actual shape. It could be that. You never know. Maybe. I can zoom in on the satellite so much. I can actually... Oh my god, I can, <laughs> I can get so detailed. I can get to like people's cars and stuff. That's only really going to help me on Vatican, I feel like, which I'm quite excited to get to. What do I want to do? There's something up here. I could try it there. It might be this, you know. Shall I try it? So how it works is once you've drawn a shape, it'll tell you over here what percentage of your shape is actually in line with where the country is. I'm going to go with this thing, so why not? Let's do it. So I right click and then I just start drawing. Now, there's something that works its way around there, so I'm going to follow that and... Yep, should we leave that in? No, we'll go around it, uh, and then I'm gonna end it like that. Okay, and then how do you submit? I double click on the country, cool. So it'll tell me up here if I was at all accurate. Double click. Nope. <laughs> So 0% of my shape was in the country, so I got 0 points. Excellent start! Alright, we're going again. This time I've been given Latvia, so hopefully this can go a little bit better. Right, I know that Estonia's at the top, and these two little island areas are part of Estonia. And then I know that this dip is part of Latvia, or at least I hope so anyway. So, I'm going to start drawing, and I'm going to hope for the best. So, I'm going to work my way around here, and it should be correct around the coast. And then, I'll just kind of curve around from that point. Don't know any kind of specifics other than that and I'm gonna submit that and let's see if we get any points please <gasps> yes 63% of my shape was in the country and I covered 76% of Latvia so I got a score of 70 so I think that's pretty decent to be fair I'm pleased with that it looks a bit big when I look at it from this distance but we won't worry about it now I have to draw Luxembourg though which is just basically impossible at this stage my god how on earth am I meant to draw Luxembourg I can't even remember exactly where Luxembourg borders so this has got to be so Switzerland, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then obviously France is here and it'll probably come around to here. I'm just going to have to wing it on hope for the best. And I'm just doing it like that. And I'm going to submit it. Oh, what a shock. I got zero points for Luxembourg. Who cares though? Because now we're drawing Lithuania, which should be better because I know that Lithuania is under Latvia. So I can follow this. I don't know at what point it goes down. Do you think it has the dip? I don't know if it does. Yeah, we'll include it. We'll include it just like that. This is probably not going to be right. And I guess I can probably go over as well. Yeah, right. Let's submit that. Ooh, 127 points, apparently. I don't think it's lined up great, but I did cover 75% of the country, so I will take that. And now wants me to draw Poland, which is, I guess, not a bad one. What's Poland look like? I can picture Germany's shape with the, the kind of the curve around here, but Poland's tricky. Right, I guess we'll just go for it, and I think I need to go from it from this distance as well. So we'll follow the coast again. Uh, yeah, work my way around, and then I feel like it has a little point like that. This is going to be so bad. I know it is, okay? And submit. Ooh, 92% in the country, 40% of the country, but overall, 67%. This is total points, I realize now. Cool. All right, now I need to draw Slovakia. My God. Can we have UK, please? Can we have Portugal, maybe? Maybe Italy? Maybe Cyprus? That'd be a good one. I'm getting some really difficult ones at this stage. <laughs> so Italy's here. Croatia's here. Slovakia's somewhere around here, maybe? I don't know. This is really difficult, by the way. People are really going to make fun of me for this one. I know they are. But it's so difficult to just draw borders with nothing to base it on. Is Slovakia the one that looks like a chicken? I think it is, you know. That might be Slovenia. And I don't know exactly where it is. I'm gonna just try it around here somewhere. I don't think it's that big either, is it? So... How did it look like a chicken? Is it this kind of thing? Kind of is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, why not? Okay, submit that. Go for it. Oh, it intersects. So if your lines cross, it cancels it out. So I have to be careful not to do that. I bet that was perfect as well. That's fine though. I'll just draw it again. No idea how this is gonna go. Something like that. And yep, sure. And okay, wow. Submit. 
Oh, well, I actually got some points. 29% in the country. I got 9% of the country. So I think I've drawn it in the wrong place. But we did have a little bit of overlap. So yeah, that's nice. Now I have to draw Kosovo. Oh, my God. This is honestly so difficult. <laughs> I'm looking here and I'm seeing this is where Ukraine is. I feel everything I need to move over a bit, right? I must do. So based on that, Kosovo is down here. Oh, there's just literally no clues. <laughs> I'm trying to find perfect mountains that create the border shape, but I'm not seeing anything. So Greece is here. Kosovo is kind of maybe there. You never know. But that could be Montenegro. Should we just go for it? I'm going to follow this little shape that I've just spotted. And we're just going to see what happens. Uh, I can kind of get the shape of Kosovo, I think, anyway. Like that kind of thing. All right, submit. Oh, that's not bad. 50% in the country, 40% of the country, 49 total points. I'm noticing a lot of orange, so I guess that probably suggests that I'm not doing great because, you know, it'd be nice to see some green. Czechia now. Oh, my God. Czechia is under Germany, but we've not got to Germany yet. It could follow this. I hope that it does, so I'm going to go for it. I'm going to draw right around it, just like that, uh, and then I don't know the exact, so we'll just submit that and hope for the best. Highest point so far. I got 79, 79% in the country. So I'm in the right place there, which gives me hope for Germany. Oh, <gasps> draw Vatican City. Ooh, okay. This is where the satellite's gonna get really interesting because if I can find Rome, I might be able to find the Vatican. Look at that, there's a volcano. Oh my God. God, that looks incredible. The only volcano that I can name in Rome is Vesuvius. But I don't know. Oh, my God, that looks amazing. Right, where is Rome? <laughs> when you've got no clues, you've got no markers or anything, it's very, very difficult. Could this be Rome? I don't know. Right, I assume the place with the volcano is Rome because it's the biggest looking city from a distance. There's not many cities they can see. Maybe I'm wrong though. I don't know. I really thought that I would be able to just spot the Vatican from a distance, but I am totally off because I don't even know if I've found the capital city. I think that's too south. I think I need to be further up here maybe. This could be Rome. With how small and densely compact it looks, I'm feeling more confident about it. This looks more like a capital city. Okay, do you think I could spot it? Where would you be, Vatican? It's near the Colosseum, right? Maybe? Possibly? Oh my god, could this be it? I don't think that is. It's got a big car park. Oh, I'm taking way too long. I might just have to go for it. I don't think this is the Vatican, but I'm going to try it anyway. We're going to wrap our way around, and it's that kind of shape, I think, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, all right, submit. 0% in the country. Very, very sad news there. That's fine, though, whatever. Next is North Macedonia, which I know borders Kosovo, which we got a few points for, but I'm not sure which side it is. I think it's this side, and I think it kind of borders, and I think it's quite round as well. So let's try this. Submit. Uh, we got a few points. We got a few points. 36% in the country, so at least it's in the right kind of area. Next is Andorra. My god, that's a difficult one at this stage. Right, Spain's basically lateral from this point, right? I think so. Could this be Andorra? Whoa, my god. God, look at that. We can get so detailed. We can see people's cars. I guess it's in the right area. I'm going to go for that. Uh, Andorra, around you go. Um, I think somewhere there's like that kind of shape. There you go. And submit. Zero points. Going well. Yes. Norway. Right. Norway. We can cling back some points because we can obviously get all of this side of it. This is definitely just easy points right now. Draw it all the way around. Beautiful stuff. This is what we like to see. And Norway is quite narrow, isn't it, as it goes? Up. It's like it's literally like that, right? So should we try that? Yes, I'm gonna submit. 77%. Still only a yellow though. Give me some green. Do I need plus 80% for green? Switzerland coming up next. Okay, Switzerland. Italy's here. Switzerland, is it kind of all in the Alps? I don't know. Or is it maybe half of the... I think it's half, isn't it? Lining it up's quite tricky. I think I want to go higher. I'm going to go like here. And then I know that Switzerland has kind of wiggly bits around the bottom. So that's the kind of shape that I'm going to drop. Okay, try it. We must be in the wrong spot there. We did get some points, so there is some overlap, but not much. Denmark is, once again, a little bit easier because of where it is. So we can just follow the coast, which is good. Just like this. And also, it says in the notes, by the way, that you don't have to worry about separate islands and that kind of thing. All right, work our way around. Very nice, very nice. And then I don't know what point it goes in, but I'm guessing it's probably like this. So let's try that. Okay, submit. Ah, oh, the shape self intersects. Okay, I have to draw it without overlapping the lines as much. That's fine. I don't mind. I'll go careful. Right, right, right. Careful, careful, careful. Work our way around. Work our way around. Get these beautiful shapes. Fantastic stuff. And then work around there. But don't go too close this time. Yep, yep, yep. And then I'm going to submit it like that. Okay, submit. 
I got 96% of the country, but only 32% in the country. So I got 65 points there. I would have thought that would have been higher. I wonder what I did wrong. Portugal. Hopefully we can get Portugal okay. I just don't know at what point to start it. I'm going to go there though. And then I'm just going to work my way around like that. And then I guess that scale could work. And then at least we know around the coast we won't have any issues. And then I'm going to submit that. Go for it. Portugal, 88%, still a yellow. So green must be plus 90% maybe. That one we did really good. A score of 88 is decent, surely. Oh my God, we still have a lot to do. Hungary now. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Hungary. It's around here, right? Maybe. Yep. Why not? Let's just try it. I'm going to go like this. No, I'm going to go higher. I was going to go south, but I've changed my mind and I'm going north. All right. Do I want to submit that? I'm not sure. I d no, I don't. I'm going to redo it. Think about it. So I've got Croatia here, quite a big space that it takes up. And then maybe Hungary is above it. So let's just try it like that. And it's, it's just that kind of shape. Why not? We got some points. We're in a similar area. Okay, we've got a 45 for Hungary. So, I, I guess, <laughs> who knows, realistically. Draw San Marino. My God, there is just no need for that. How do I draw San Marino? I have no idea where it is. I think it's quite north, but unless I'm going to see... Do you know what? Yeah, why not? woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> If I've got this, something incredible has happened. Are you ready for... Nah, it's gonna be way bigger. I don't even want to submit that. When you look at pictures of San Marino, you can see, like, pure landscape and hills and mountains and stuff. A micro state isn't actually that micro in reality. So, with that being said, we're gonna go further out, and I'm gonna go like that. Yeah, you ready for this? Zero points. Perfect. <laughs> Bosnia. That one I might be able to get some points for because I know that Croatia's here and it's basically just inside of Croatia. Croatia's like an alligator trying to grab hold of Bosnia. So if I imagine where Croatia is, I can do Bosnia. So work my way around like that. Over there. Tiny bit of coast and that's it. You ready for this? Oh, 80% of the country. Total points 59. Not bad, not bad. Okay, Sweden now. So that won't be too bad because we can get a lot of the ship. But what I'm struggling with is I don't know where exactly to end it. I'm going to undo that. I don't think that's good at all. Finland goes straight up here, I think. So let's try again there. Instead, I'll start up at Finland. I don't quite know. But what we'll do is we'll work our way around down here. We're allowed to overlap. Doesn't make any difference. And then around this point bit and yeah sure ready for that oh we've got our first green sweden 91 total points 98 percent of the country 82 percent in country yes i mean it is a quite an easy one draw ukraine my goodness i know that this is the bottom of ukraine right oh my god this is so difficult we're away we're working our way around this i'm gonna work my way around this thing and then i'm doing like a See, I know Ukraine's big, but is this remotely correct? Let's try. We got some points. 62. 62. Bulgaria now. Right. Bulgaria is maybe there. <laughs> I can't believe how tricky this is. I'm going to do Bulgaria following this mountainous region right the way around. I don't think Bulgaria is that big, really, but we're going to follow it and hope for the best. Just like that. I know, obviously, it's far more detailed, but I'm just trying to get some points. 43 points. Not great. All right, Finland. That's okay. Should be anyway, because we can work our way around all of this, at least. Yeah, Scandinavia is definitely one of the easiest parts of this. If I remember, I think it kind of does that right and i know that's part of russia so i've probably gone too far there yeah it needs to be similar to this but i'm just gonna try and take up a bit less space because i want the points you know so based on that we're gonna go further inland like this and then i'm gonna work my way around here follow this shape up and then i'm gonna cut across and i'm gonna do that and that's what i'm submitting i think i went too far with sweden let's try it 74 total points, not bad. Probably seen as Sweden's my best score. I should have probably respected the borders that I previously did. Italy. Okay, well, we can get a, quite a bit of Italy at least because it is on the outside. So we can follow all of this coast, which is going to be some easy points that I do not dare say no to. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, don't get too close to that bit. Don't want it to be intersecting. Work my way around here. And then I know it does spread, but I don't quite know how far. We'll just do do this and hope for the best. There you go. And submit. 81 points. That's decent. Draw Belgium. Oh, no. Uh, right. So, Netherlands is here. So, it's Belgium... 
<laughs> yeah, I'll try Belgium there. What kind of general shape is Belgium? Oh, I can remember it. I can remember it. I just can't remember exactly where it is. Uh, I'm going to work my way along this coast. And then it's kind of like this, isn't it? With something there. And then it goes back out again. That's what I was submitting. There you go. Oh, Belgium was a bad one. So I think I'm probably not lined up. I probably needed to be like over here, maybe. Only 13 points. That's bad. Slovenia now. Right, if I've drawn Slovakia there, what score did I get? Only 20. I think Slovakia is probably in the wrong place with a small amount of overlap. So I think I maybe need to ignore these shapes and draw Slovenia around this. I'm going to just draw a general Slovenia just there. And I'm going to submit that. And I got zero points. Should have drawn it over here. <laughs> Albania. Now I got okay points for Montenegro, right? Wait, hang on. I thought I was drawing Montenegro. I was actually drawing North Macedonia. So I've definitely got mixed up with that. And that's why I got low points. But it has happened now. So we will not worry about it. Albania, I know the shape of it. It's kind of long and thin. And I thought it was straight up along the coast. But it's obviously quite angular here. So is that? Albania there? I thought this would have been Greece. No, I think that's definitely Greece. Ah, oh, well, we're just going to have to hope for the best mm, and maybe draw it there. This is so bad. This is so, so bad. My God, submit. 18 total points. Terrible. Estonia. We can maybe hopefully get a few points here because I know that it is here. Uh, I'm going to try and include the land and hopefully it won't shout at me. And then we'll work around like that. And yeah, should we try that? Go for it. Oh, 82 points. Decent. We're doing well with these three. Moldova now. Right, what did I get for Ukraine? Ukraine, I got 62, which isn't a terrible score. So I think Moldova borders Ukraine. So with that being said, it's like this kind of general shape. Let's submit that and hope for the best. 35 points. Nothing special. Serbia now. Don't remember exactly where Serbia is. I think it could be this gap. It's this general kind of shape like that and it kind of curves round as well. I've sort of drawn a banana. Let's just submit it. 35 points for you in the country. We're getting points, okay? <laughs> I'd be interested to see how other people manage. Montenegro now, which is what I thought this one was. So I am curious about just drawing it here. Let's actually try that and see how we get on because our Kosovo wasn't too bad. Ah, terrible. Definitely shouldn't have done that. Absolutely revolting score. Germany, finally. Right, we can work our way around here. No, I need to leave room for the Netherlands. I'm trying again, and I'm leaving room for the Netherlands. <laughs> and I am working my way around here, and then it's like this kind of thing. Yeah, that's the general overarching shape of Germany right there. Give me decent points, please. It's self-intersected. Okay, I'll draw it again. Okay, we'll try and follow some of the borders that we've already done, because I don't think our Poland was too bad. And I need to leave room for Netherlands. Work around here. Ah, uh, this isn't right. Yeah, I'm blowing it. I'm definitely blowing it. I've definitely gone way too in there. But you know what? We're going to go for it. Oh, 89 points. That was a decent score. 93 in the country. 80% of the country. Liechtenstein? How am I meant to draw Liechtenstein? My God, that is outrageous. Generally, do I not remember where Liechtenstein is? I'm going to try it there. I know it's tiny. Let's just go for it. Oh, what a shock. I got no points. Okay, France, I will get some points for. Looking at it now, Italy, I definitely went way too far over. So I'll definitely ignore my Italian borders as I draw this. Right, it works way too round like that. Go over there, sure. And then, what do I want to do here? Yeah, you know what? Like that. Come back out a bit. I've gone in too much there, but you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Let's submit that. Or can I draw that better? I think I can go over here a bit more. Yeah, I'm going to follow this little curve that I've made that I think is definitely wrong. I know it goes up. I know it goes around here and then uh, back down a bit like that and just yeah. I actually feel quite good about that. Let's submit it. Oh, yes, 92 points. Our second green. That's apparently the best I've drawn. 90% in and of the country. Thank God I drew it again. Right, Croatia. We can get some points here because of Bosnia. How did I do for Bosnia? I got 59. I wonder if I just went out this way too much. Croatia we can get because it's, it's literally like this shape, basically, isn't it? It goes right down there and then I guess in a bit more, maybe like that. Obviously, I'm exaggerating every shape here, but I think that's going to give us some points. 54 points. I honestly would have thought I could have got a bit better there. Looking at it, I think I probably went too big. Romania, a big country somewhere around here. It's the country that looks like a fish, but I can't remember which direction the fish is looking. So I think this game is more about the land area than the shape. I'm going to try it though. Uh, I think it's definitely smaller than Ukraine and I think it works its way around here. And then this is the fish part. Yeah. <laughs> Can I submit that? Why not? 66 points is okay. Spain has potential for another green. I'm going to go for it. I'm feeling confident. 
confident about Spain, seeing as France was so good. So we'll follow that. And our Portugal was okay too. So you know what? Yeah, let's just keep it legit. Work our way down here. Get Gibraltar in as well. Why not? Even though technically not part of Spain. So potentially I should have avoided it. And now there you go. Ready for this? Give me a green. Give me a green. <gasps> 175? Did I glitch it? <laughs> How have I got over 100%? I assumed 100 was the top. I don't know if I've glitched that there, but I'm not complaining. I'm taking the 175 points. Right, Netherlands. I've left a bit of room for Netherlands. Belgium. What did I do? 13. So just ignore this completely because Belgium's obviously just a totally different spot. In all fairness, if you ignore Belgium, this area is roughly the shape. So I wonder if it is worth following it. It is kind of like this sort of thing. Yeah, why not submit that? 70 points there for Netherlands. 70 points is a decent, respectable score. I will take it. Side note, what am I missing here? What actually fills this gap? We've done 36 of 41 countries, and I'm worried this is the source of all my problems. <laughs> Either way, what did I get for Ukraine? I got 62, so it's not bad. Belarus is higher though, right? I'm gonna just try it somewhere like that. I don't think that's very good at all. Let's just submit it. 32 points, not bad. Greece, I need to be careful not to intersect. That's gonna kind of let me down. Because if your lines go over each other at all, it just cancels it out. But on a country like this, I mean, that is very difficult not to do. Let's just try it like that. I'll skip the islands and I'll work my way around there like that. What do you think? Should we try that? 68 points. Respectable. Austria. I've not really left room for Austria. Although maybe I have, to be fair, if you think about the shape of Austria, because it's kind of widdly on this side, and then it's a bit bigger over here. So, yeah, why not? 67 points. Ireland. I can do Ireland. I need to leave room for Northern Ireland, but Northern Ireland is very small. Uh, I'm going to work it around like that. Also, I know that the Republic of Ireland's most northerly point is more northerly than Northern Ireland's most northerly point. So that's why I've gone all the way to the tippy top there. I'm working my way around this all very gently. And we wiggle, we wiggle. Don't intersect though, Jack, because you'll get shouted at. Work your way around. And do you think that'll do? Yeah, that's going to be a decent score, surely. 92. Another green. Why do we have 175 points for Spain? Surely that is a mistake. Do you know what? Looking at it from a distance, it looks all right. Sweden does look far too large. I don't know what's happened there. Monaco is another one that's just basically impossible. I am excited for no points here. Although, to be fair, I should be... Oh my god. I think I've just zoomed right in on it. I've just zoomed right on a Monaco, right? Well, we're gonna get some points then. Is this literally the border of Monaco? Are these houses in Monaco? Oh, what if this isn't Monaco? It could just be another nice fishing bay. No, I think that it- I recognize that shape. I think that is Monaco. I'm gonna try this one, which I don't think is correct. We'll just hope for the best. Why not? Work our way around this. Try not to intersect. I know that it's got a shape. It kind of looks like an instrument. This is definitely not correct though, but let's try it. See if we get any points. Z of course. Oh, but hang on. That's our last country. <laughs> what has happened here? We have the actual borders now. Oh my god, this is crazy. So Poland is the first source of my issues. This is my Poland, but Poland actually goes all the way up to here. You can see, I did do the points. They have very similar points that are parallel there, but I should have gone way bigger. Oh, this is mad to look at. Wait, why did I not get to do United Kingdom? That was the one that I was hyped for, because that would be the easiest. Portugal is not too bad. Spain is very strong. To be fair, I can see why I got a good score for that one. My France is okay. Oh, this is so weird. So there's my Switzerland here, and then this is the droopy Switzerland under. So this is the only bit that intercepted. Yeah, this is really confusing to look at. And my Ukraine was way too small. Ukraine goes all the way around here, whereas I just did this pathetic little shape. Belarus, I kind of did the right shape, but I need to move it over. We also never did do Russia. I guess it's not included. My Norway is pretty good. I also didn't do Iceland. Uh, it's just sort of mainland Europe that's included. That's why these countries weren't in it. How come Ireland got in there? <laughs> yeah, I really screwed up all of this bit. You can see how messy that has ended up. As with the Balkans as well, ah, oh, there's Albania. I knew that it needed to go up straight. This is my Albania, this horrible splodge, and then actual Albania is this bit. Well, it's a really interesting idea. It's crazy how wrong you can end up being. Oh, look at our Estonia, though. That's not bad at all. So I ended up with 2,072 points, and the top high scores... 3,028. But to be fair, everyone here will have played over and over again, whereas that's my first ever one, and I'm not that far away from the 20th spot. Eric suggested on small countries like
like Luxembourg, it might make more sense to just draw across the entirety of Europe so that at least a tiny portion of it will be included and you'll get some points, which is a rather interesting idea. Well, I enjoyed that. I'll leave a link to the quiz if you want to try it yourself. If they ever bring out any of the other continents, I will be even more terrible. But you know what? That's not too bad. It's Poland that I am the most shocked about. Interesting. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.